Our 92-year-old laboratory is undergoing a historic period of renewal and renovation. Everywhere I go on the site, there's construction going on. New scientific facilities, improved infrastructure, old labs being made new again. And all of it will support and improve the scientific mission of this laboratory. And here, our new bioepic building is taking shape right next to the Integrative Genomics Building, which we completed in 2019. The researchers in BioEpic will be working to understand how microbes interact with soil and plants to create our larger environment. Few places in the world will have this capacity to study these controlled environments. These two buildings, along with a proposed Biogem building, would form a Bayview campus that would integrate work from many areas of research at the laboratory. We are engaged in a massive upgrade of the advanced light source, our synchrotron x-ray facility. This is the biggest project we've had since the original ALS construction. It's even more complex, and it will completely rebuild this facility for the next 25 years. The beams will be dark starting in late 2025, while all the new equipment and magnets are installed but it, when it comes up, we'll have the sharpest, smallest, most intense soft X-ray light beams in the world. There's more. Our Old Town area is being redeveloped as Charter Hill to provide new facilities for new types of research in chemistry and material science. We've proposed that, we're developing that, and eventually it will tie into the advanced light source. It will remake this area of research at the laboratory. The project that has most impact on everybody at the laboratory is replacement of the cafeteria building. It has served us well for 70 years, but it's no longer in the shape that we can have people going to it every day. So we're in the process of taking it down, replacing it, and putting in a new facility that will have not only a cafeteria, but it'll have conference space, health services, and lots of other things. And it will really be a collecting point for everybody from the laboratory so all of us can get together, collaborate, and take advantage of the wonderful view we have here at the lab. As I walk around the laboratory, I see a lot of construction on things that probably people don't know that's going on. Here at the Grizzly Peak substation, we're increasing the electrical capacity so that we can power the next supercomputer and the other experimental facilities that we are building all over the site. And underlying all this construction underneath our feet are the underground utilities, pipes and fiber and electrical cables. We're renewing all of that across the site. We need to build a new infrastructure that is more resilient and capable, and we're doing that with the Linear Assets Modernization Program, or LAMP. And that will renew us so that we're ready for another 25 years of reliable operation of this laboratory. Finally, we're partnering with UC Berkeley, which is leading a project to replace Centennial Bridge near the Strawberry Gate to bring it up to present seismic standards. So we're doing all this construction to provide better facilities and more reliable infrastructure to the people who do research here at the laboratory. And the government is making an extraordinary investment in this laboratory and its future. And that's because of the great people who work here, like you. So thank you for that. This renewal means that we will have a great laboratory here for 100 years more. World-class science needs world-class facilities.